Today's video is going to be an Arab inspired makeup tutorial. I'm using the Naked palette here and I'm using the shade Naked and this is going to go into the crease with a MAC 217 blending brush and you don't really have to be too neat with this but try not to get it too high on the brow bone and try not to get it too much onto the eyelid. I'm then going to use a fluffy blending brush, blending brush by Sigma, this is the E40 and I'm just going to blend this out completely um, to make it nice and blended. I'm then using the 24 hour colour tattoo by Maybelline in metallic pomegranate and this is going to go all over the lid. Um, don't get it onto the crease, you want to get it underneath like just on the crease because obviously we're going to blend it and you don't want it to be blended too high because then it will just look really messy and you want it to blend into the transition colour nicely as well. So here I'm just blending that out, the same brush as before and you can even apply some of that naked colour if you want to but I didn't. I'm now using Max um, Carbon which is a matte black colour and you want to be quite heavy with this because Arabic style makeup and some Persian makeup is very heavy, um, not all the time but sometimes it's quite heavy and um, quite dramatic and that is a look we're definitely going for here. So really dramatic black eyeshadow, matte, not shimmery and I'm just going to create this kind of V shape and then I'm going to blend it out again with a Sigma E40. Now I'm going to line my eyes, I'm going to do a cat wing eyeliner and I'm going to really um, exaggerate the line, especially on the inner corner. I really want to do um, that nice sharp point. So the product I'm using for this is my Inglot gel liner in the shade 77 which is just black and I'm using Sigma E10 small eyeliner brush, they work so well together and I definitely recommend them. So now I'm going on my waterline with the same liner um, which is great because it doesn't budge and it really looks so black and it's better than a pencil in my opinion. I'm also going to go on my skin a bit here like on my bottom line, bottom lash line. I'm just going to follow um, the line just underneath here as you can see so it leaves a bit of a gap this way it gives it a nice dramatic look and I'm also going to highlight in there in a minute I'm now going with a pencil brush with carbon just to add more black and just to really make it dramatic here with a bourgeois silver eyeshadow I don't know the name of it but it's just a shimmery silver I'm just going to go in that little gap that I left and this just gives it a bit of a highlight and a bit of a shimmer and just makes it like extra dramatic which is definitely what we want. And then to make it even more dramatic I'm going to add a bit of this just above the inner corner um, and not too far in. You just want it to be a little bit just to add a bit of highlight and shimmer and just make it look really dramatic. Now with the fine glitter dust by Barry M, it's just a silver colour, I don't think it has a name. I'm going to apply that just where we applied the silver bit, only in the little gap. Um, just to add a bit of glitter and this is optional, you don't have to if you don't want glitter, but I just really wanted to. I'm now going to apply my false, the Falsies Mascara by Maybelline. You can also apply some eyelashes if you want to, but I didn't feel like I needed it because I have naturally very long eyelashes, but if you want to then go for it. So now onto the face, I'm using the Natural Collection Concealer in the shade Medium and I'm really bringing this down into that kind of B shape and really bringing it up. Um, just on the outer corner of my eyes you can just see there because I just wanted to clean up and sharpen that edge uh, where the black is. You can obviously use tape, a lot of people do that but I just prefer to use concealer just to clean that line up. For my foundation I'm using the NARS 
weightless foundation in Santa Fe and this is just a little sample one I have which is why the applicator looks like that they actually give you quite a lot of foundation in these little sample things so that's the reason why I haven't gone out and bought a new one just because one I use my Revlon color stay quite a bit and also because they give you a lot of sample foundation so I don't really need to but I'm just going to buff that out or stipple that out and then buff it with the Real Techniques stippling brush for some reason the camera is really making this foundation look like the completely wrong shade for me but I've been using this colour for years and I know that it suits me and it's um, the right sh shade for my skin um, just for some reason it just looks completely the wrong colour, I don't know why so now for contour I'm using my sleek contour kit and I'm obviously using the darkest matte shade there and this is what I'm using for my contour normally I use my MAC Harmony blush um, but every now and then I use this I do have a contour video, I will leave it linked below it's just my drugstore one, I think I'm actually using this product in it and I just sort of go through just how I do my contour um, in that video so if you want to know more about it then I will leave it linked below for you to go see For a change I'm using my Ben Nye's Banana Powder instead of Buff. I do prefer Buff a whole lot better than the Banana Powder but I thought I would um, use it again just because I haven't used it in such a long time. I am using the Sigma Highlighting Brush which is the brush that I prefer to use for my powders. I have a review video on this which is quite old but I will leave a link below as well just in case you want to see that. I'm now using Max Strip Down Lip Liner to line my lips with. I love this lip liner, I think it's such a lovely colour. Sometimes I use it all over my lip, sometimes I use it just to line my lips with, but I just think it just looks great with any makeup look, like literally any look, it will go with it. For lipstick I'm using Velvet Teddy by MAC, which is my favourite lipstick. Um, for at the moment it's my favourite lipstick. And then I'm going to dab a bit of Revlon Nude Attitude, which is just a nice nude colour, obviously by the name of it, um, just in the centre of the lips, just to make it look a bit more ombre and a, just give it the illusion of like fuller, bigger lips. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I love doing makeup looks like this. If you want to see more, then please let me know. If you did like it, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.